I come to announce to you there is about to be a resurrection for somebody. When you don't exercise your faith, it will not be strong. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. We must continue to be hearing the word of God. This is Get Connected with Bishop Israel Ade Ajala. Hello and welcome to the special Christmas edition of Get Connected with Bishop Israel Ade Ajala, God's servant to the nations and curator of the worldwide kindness revolution, changing nations one life at a time. We want to remind you that Get Connected can be viewed on Spotify, Google Music, Apple Music, Amazon, and YouTube. Today's topic is one that will ring true in your heart as the Word of God backs it up, and that is glory in the highest. Here is Bishop Israel Ade Ajala. This is the season of Christmas. Today is the last Friday before Christmas. Today is the 22nd. Mm -hmm. And by Sunday, we will be having, you know, Christmas Eve and then Monday Christmas. Listen to me. It's not just ordinary holiday. Now, a lot of people, I mean, there are some people that will say, oh, December is not when Jesus was born. Uh, I don't worry about that. One thing I am I'm grateful for is that Jesus was born. Yes. Which is so important. And that's why I want you to know what was announced when the shepherd were on the field in Luke chapter 2 the Bible says then the look look at it I'm starting from verse 8 Luke chapter 2 verse 8 now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields keeping watch over their flock by night and behold an angel of the Lord stood before them and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in a swaddling cloth, lying in the manger. Verse 13, And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. Here it is, the heavenly announcement given to the shepherd is so important for us to always remember. Glory to God in the eyes. The word, is, the word glory there is the Greek word doxa, from where we get our word doxology. And it means honor. It means praise. It means worship. It means good opinion. It means magnificence. Mm -hmm. It means preeminence. Yes. It means majesty. Yes. Can you imagine what that means? These are the reason that the old world... So we are not the only ones celebrating the birth of Christ. Heaven is celebrating yes. it. Yes. That's why they say glory to God in the highest. So after they've already pronounced praise to God, honor to God, magnificent majesty to God, in the highest form of it that you can ever get. And then they now said, what you get on earth is peace. And on earth, peace. Yes. That word, peace, is the Greek word, irene, which also is the Hebrew word, shalom. And that word means 
prosperity. It means quietness. It means rest. Mm -hmm. It means a state wow. of national tranquility. Wow. Exception from rage and havoc of war. Did you get it? He said, in heaven, mm -hmm. praise to God, mm -hmm. majesty to God, preeminence to God. And we give God all the adoration in the highest form that can ever be and will ever be. But that is to God. So God receives something. Man receives something. And then he said, on earth, prosperity. On earth, free from rage, havoc of war, peace. Then he says, that is for the earth. Then he says, on, he says, goodwill. Mm -hmm. And the word goodwill is the Greek word, eudokia or eudokia. Mm -hmm. And it means kindness. It means delight. It means satisfaction. It means good pleasure. These are all the things that happen to both heaven and earth. As the announcement was made, of the arrival of Jesus the Christ. That's why Christmas holiday, regardless of the day they do it, is a celebration that takes place both in heaven and on earth. And it's a celebration that is feared in hell. Because the guy that shows up, the man that shows up, the, 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 the Jesus of Nazareth that shows up, the devil knows he's coming to humiliate him. So, glory to God in the highest. I want you to know that the Bible is relevant to you every day of your life. Glory that belongs to God. Hear this. Jesus also said, the glory you gave me, I gave them. Mm -hmm. So, if glory that belongs to God belongs to you, because Jesus said in John chapter 17, verse 22, he says, I have given them the glory you gave me, so they may be one as we are one. Wow. So the glory in the highest, the glory that goes to God. God said, through Jesus, it belongs to you. In other words, no one can touch you and go scot-free. Now, in John chapter 17, in, in verse 1, uh, Jesus was talking and he says, Father, I have glorified you. He now said, you says, that you also may glorify your son. And he says, and, and he says, I have glorified you on earth. In verse 5, he now says, Father, glorify me together with yourself. And then in verse 22, he now says, the glory that we now share, I'm giving to them. Now, this time for Christmas is not the time for you to be drunk. Right. It's the time for you to be sober. Yes. And celebrate the great miracle that happened to man. The journey of Christmas did not start on December 25. The journey of Christmas started in the Garden of Eden. Because the final destination is not the birth. The final destination is resurrection and his return to his father. But Christmas is a bus stop. Jesus packed his luggage in Genesis chapter 3, heading to Calvary, heading for Calvary. And then he came via Mary in Nazareth, where he was born. But now that he has been born, is there a space for Christ in your life during this Christmas? The truth is that there must be a space for you. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace. Whatever it is that is taking away your peace, this is the time for you to return to the God of peace. Yes. The time for you to call people you have not been talking to, and just mend fences, mm -hmm. and just let the peace of God rule your heart. It's not the time we just exchange food. You give me turkey right. and I give right. you duck. That's not 
that's not the spirit of Christmas. No. The spirit of Christmas is, of, is to celebrate the God who is in the highest and become good will, good omen to other people. In other words, you look for somebody who cannot bless you back and you bless them because that is the spirit of Christmas. You know, Jesus is coming is, 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 is to remind us of our victory over sickness, over pain, over affliction, over poverty, mm -hmm. over loneliness, in fact, over death. It is God's desire that you and I operate in the highest level of glory, mm -hmm. not the minima. The highest level of glory is the level of Jesus Christ. That's why it's a glory in the highest. But that same glory that is in the highest is belonging to us. You operate in the highest level of glory. Jesus Christ is the perfect expression of God's glory. So when there's a glory in the highest, he's talking about the greatest power, magnificence, majesty, and honor that God could have. But that also is available to you and I. Yes. That Christmas, make that to remember that. You know, as Christians, we are to live our, our lives in a way that reflect the glory of the Lord to this world. Not just, uh, it's for me and my family. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to encourage you. You are to operate at the highest level of glory. You are to be living your life as an agent of goodwill towards men. Now, you can do that in any way, shape, or form. But I want to invite you to Kingdom Connection as we celebrate the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, Jesus Christ is the only one that when they are celebrating his birthday, he never gets a gift. But people who are not celebrating their birthday exchange gifts among themselves, and they call it Christmas gift. If you want to give God a gift during this Christmas, go look for somebody to declare the love of Christ to, lead somebody to Christ. That is your Christmas gift. The other gift you give to one another, that's just commercialization. That's yes. just your culture. Yes. That has nothing to do with Christ. Yes. I'm not saying you should not do it, yes. but the greatest gift you can give to Jesus during this time is worship and soul winning. I'll be right back after this. Thank you, Bishop. What a word on today. Glory in the highest. If you have been listening the last few minutes, then I know you have been blessed because it's not about, as Bishop was saying, um, you know, our culture and what we do to celebrate Christmas for one another. But the true celebration is giving God the glory in the highest form that we can. We'll be back with more after these announcements. Kingdom Connection Christian Center's free food bank is open to all. Our food bank is open every Thursday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. We are located at 1391 Oswego Street in Aurora, Colorado. For more information, call 720-859-1737. To join our text list and receive prophetic declarations from the bishop, service notifications, and links to join our live service and general information, text GRACE to 833-397-1448. Join us on our podcast platforms. Search Get Connected with Bishop Israel Ade Ajala on Spotify, Apple, Google, Pandora, and Amazon Music Podcasts. Welcome back to Get Connected with Bishop Israel Ade Ajala. And this is the Christmas season, and it is so appropriate, the word that God has given our bishop on today, and that is Glory in the highest. Bishop, you broke that down so amazingly for us. 
during the first segment of the program. Bishop, you know, oftentimes we get so caught up in the commercialization mm -hmm. of Christmas and what the world says Christmas is or what it should be and how we should operate inside of that. But Bishop, you just took the word and you showed us that really we should be focused on operating in the highest level of giving glory to God. Yes. And Bishop, again, we're we're back to this crossroad of, mm -hmm. of for those not listening audience who may be saying or may be thinking, Bishop, but Bishop, you don't know what I'm going through right now. Um, I'm not having that perfect Christmas. Um, I am experiencing some issues in my life right now. How can I give glory to God when I'm going through so much? Well, the um, the easiest way to get out of your doldrum, if you will, is praise. Praising God. And praise is giving glory to God. Psalm 50 verse 23 says, Whoever offers praise glorifies me. God said, Whoever offers praise glorifies me. So if you are going through some challenges, if you will just offer praise, you have already glorified God. Yes. And when you glorify God, your praise will bring God into the situation. Because Psalm, 12, Psalm said to us, he says, he says, uh, he says, he says, he inhabits yes. the praises of Israel of his people. Mm -hmm. God does not delegate anybody to go and take praise on his behalf. If you pray, he may delegate angel. But when mm -hmm. you start praising God, he shows up himself. himself. <laughs> when the creator of heaven and earth shows up in your issue, he becomes a no issue. What the woman of the issue of blood did was that he glo she glorified God by what she did. She said, if I can touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. Oh. And she touches the hem of, the, of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now, Jesus is the embodiment of praise. Why? He's the lion of the tribe of Judah. When that woman touched Jesus, she touched praise. Yes. And when she touched praise, her issue became a non-issue. Yes. An issue that has been in her life for many years mm -hmm. disappeared because mm -hmm. she touched praise. Last week I said many of us are not praisers, we are singers. Mm -hmm. If that woman, look, as many people that were touching Jesus exactly. that day, yes. only her received <laughs> her healing. Mm -hmm. Just like as many people are saying, I'm praising God. But only one that touched God in praise with a total surrender, total submission, attitude of faith, they are the ones that praise works for. Jesus says, somebody touch me. Everybody said, so many people are touching you. Why would you say somebody touch me? Jesus says, this touch is with a difference. This person drew virtue out of me. If you praise God and you cannot draw virtue out of God in your praise, you've only done cultural praise, not biblical praise. Wow. Every time we praise God, there must be a virtue that God deposited into our life. And that is when you that is why it is impossible to praise God without your passion. Let me say it again. It is impossible to praise God biblically without passion. Everyone that will praise God must include, it must take your passion. You, you stand there and say, well, I'm not passionate about everything. <laughs> you will be buffeted by the enemy. Mm. It's not if, if, it's about when. Yeah. You will be buffeted with the enemy. Praise is like swimming. Every part of your body participates in swimming. Yes. If you say, I will not shake my leg while you are swimming, you will drown. 
If you say, I will not move my hand while you are swimming, you will drown. If you say, I will just stay still, you will go nowhere. Every part of your being participate in swimming. The same is in praising God. Every part of your being participate. That's why they, the Bible says, let everything that has breath. Yes. If your finger has breath, he must praise God. Yes. If your nose has breath, if your ear, the air that doesn't have breath in them mm -hmm. dries and fall mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. Every part of your body that has breath, praise God. And that's why when you begin to praise God, number one, he lifts your downcast yes. soul. Yes. yes. David said, why are you downcast, oh mm -hmm. my soul? Put your hope in God. Why? For we shall yet praise him. He said, you've not seen anything yet. You just put your hope in God because we are entering into praise. And remember, praise brings God into your situation. Now, prayer can bring you into God's, uh, 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 can bring your request to God. Mm -hmm. But praise will bring God into your request. Wow. You know, he said, enter his gate with thanksgiving and is caught with praise. So you come to his presence with praise. Praise ushers you into God's presence. Now watch this. When you get to God's presence, what will you find? You find mercy because you find grace and mercy. So Praise bring you to a place of grace and mercy that it does not matter what you have been going through. Even when it was as a result of a mistake you have made, when you start with praise and praise ushers you into God's presence and then you, from that praise, you enter into worshiping the one who sits on the throne. But look at what is around him. It was mercy seat. He said, come boldly that you might obtain mercy, yes. you obtain favor, you obtain grace in his presence. So I suggest to you today that even if you have no reason at all to praise God, praise God for that alone. Mm. You know, just pray. Your car won't start. Praise God that you still have a car. All these things we are talking about is because you have breath. Those in the mortuary, they can't praise God anymore. There is too late. Listen, so praise God whether you feel like it. Praise God when you don't feel like it. Those are the two times you must always praise God. Yes. When you feel like yeah, it, okay. mm -hmm. praise God. Yes. When you don't feel like it, praise, praise God. God. And in between, praise God. Yes. After that, praise God. Look, you can't hang around me and not know how to, I mean, you find yourself drawn into praise. Yes. Because I've realized that praise is a weapon that humiliates Satan all the time. Now watch this. Praise also is a, is a job that we took over from Lucifer. Every time you praise God, you remind Lucifer who he used to be. Wow. That he can no longer be. <laughs> Lucifer used to be the praise, mm -hmm. chief praiser in heaven and worship leader. But pride went into him. That's why Revelation chapter 5 combined the word lion and the lamb together. He was a lion as Lucifer, but he never became a lamb and he was kicked out of heaven. Now, you as a praiser, you must remember that the fact that you have life is enough for you to praise the, yes. one, the one who gives you yes. life. Yes. So go to God today and give him the best of praise, realizing that when you praise him, you glorify him. Like Psalm 50 verse 20 says, whoever praises me glorifies me. He says, whoever, Psalm 50 verse, verse 23, whoever offers praise, glorifies me and so if you want to glorify god you know, let my life glorify you just start with praise mm. you want your life to glorify god start with praise yes that's the best place to start praise 
we always make that which is not enough to be more than enough. Yes. Praise, we always bring you before kings. Mm. Because God himself will be there yes. with you. Never think anything that you do is more important than praise. Praise is the weapon. He says, glory to God in the highest. Yes. And on earth, shalom. And on earth, shalom. That's the Hebrew word, peace. And it means prosperity. It means quietness. Can't we use quietness mm -hmm. in our world today? Yes. The world that we are now is full of one particular, I mean, one battle or the other. Yes. I mean, can you imagine? Especially those of us in America, we should know how to thank God that He has placed us in a beautiful nation, and we must not, we must try as much as possible to let truth and honor continue yes. to be our watchword as we praise God, so that we can remain at the top that God has placed us. Let me pray for you before I go. I know that this Christmas. A new song will break out of your mouth. Angel will appear to you. The power of God will overshadow you. I declare whatever sickness you've been going through, an end has come to it today. Joy to you and your family and healing to your life till we meet next week. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you for joining us. This has been a presentation of the radio ministry of Bishop Israel Ade Ajala. For more information, contact Bishop Israel Ade Ajala by email at info at kcconline.org or by phone at 720-859-1737.